And now we wait. I mean, he's gonna hit something eventually. Just law of averages. Law of averages. The motherfucker just killed himself. Wow, it's getting demonic in our chat. We got we got satanic Kirby's happening. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Oh. Speaking of Kirby, did anyone really want another Kirby game? The non-Pokemon Pokemon? I, this should have been... I could have been a Jigglypuff Pokemon. Had to learn to Jiggly and Puff. <laughs> Alright. We have no sound. We just... yeah. Okay, there it is. I was gonna say, like, do we... Is it me being deaf, or do we lose sound? The game is... Stuttering pretty badly. So, Turtle, you may appreciate this. Um, I mean, I was stationed on the air for uh, on the army base. I used to bullshit to the army guys because they just didn't know shit about the air force of what I could and couldn't do. So, like, one thing that we would do is, you know, we'd be standing outside with our hands in our pockets in uniform. Big fucking no no. Um. In the Air Force, in all branches. You don't put your hands in your pockets and stand around. Um, but, you know, somebody's out smoking, it's cold out, whatever, put your hands in your pockets, right? I remember getting yelled at by a sergeant one time, and this wasn't even my con. Like, I just picked this up, right? Uh, I just picked this up from another Air Force guy who just gave me the tip. He yelled at us about having our hands in our pockets and blah, 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 and I said back to him... According to Air Force AFI 29-3603, an airman can put his hands in pockets when the temperature is less than 32 degrees in lieu of gloves. And he looked at me and he blinked and I think he knew I was bullshitting it, but he couldn't yeah. call me on it. And they walked away. And I got away with all kinds of shit. The other thing is that um, the Air Force uh, at the time had switched to uh, metallic pins on um some some coats and jackets for all ranks officers and uh enlisted and um and it was just kind of the thing of like you know you don't want your officers wearing something that a sniper could recognize sure so this was just kind of like well if everybody's wearing shiny pins in these places then you know we don't, the officers don't have to cover up as much um and it's not for the combat fatigues this is more for the dress work fatigues um, so I would get saluted a fucking ton because the army didn't do that. The armies were all subdued if you were uh, enlisted. Um, and they would just see something shiny and they would salute. And the first couple months, I kept trying to stop them. After that, it just wasn't fucking worth it anymore. And I just fucking saluted back like an officer. On joint bases, yeah. Had to learn ranks real fast. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, one thing between the Army and the Air Force is we have the same ranks, meaning wildly fucking different things. Like, um... We both have Master Sergeant, I believe. Which was six stripes in the Air Force? I think it's like four? Or, or I can't remember. I can't remember which way it went. You know? Um... But, like, some of our ranks were, like, massively flipped, but the same term. You'd be like, oh, he's just a master, you know, he's just a, he, he's, you know, he's just a staff sergeant or something like that. And you'd be like, oh, fuck this guy, yeah, he's for, for stripes. And they'd be like, no, 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 army staff sergeant, oh, shit. Kipuna, <laughs> Kavatu. Get in here, this place looks abandoned. Are you a drug smuggler? No sound whatsoever yep. from combat. 
Um, little roadhog moment there for you. Violence is usually the answer. Depends on the question. Oh, it's raining med packs now, motherfuckers. The Navy always messed me up in their dress uniforms with the rings on their sleeves. And that shit just might as well have been in Morse code. I'm like, why can't you just have more rings for higher rank? Like, I can at least understand that. More stripes, higher rank, I got it. Not thick and thin stripes alternating or whatever the hell they did. That was worth it. Yeah, I, um... Probably similar, like... I didn't want to be a career guy, and like, it just... Uh, and now, like, it's 20, 2015, 2017, shit, it's probably even worse. But like, the benefits of roading was going on in the 90s, you know? Uh, the guys who had, you know, were hitting like their 30 year mark and all that, were fucking retiring at full pay. And it's like, okay, that's one thing. Um, when I was in, I would have to go 30 years to make half my pay. And I think that was even like being dialed down. At least back then, we were fucking full insurance for everything. Like there wasn't any payment of any kind for health insurance, but I think they have that now in the military. Like it's subcontracted out now or something. I mean, granted, sometimes you're going to the base medic and said, do with two stripes and you're like, Please don't give him the needle. Like, can we get... Can I get an officer, you know? Can I get somebody with a college degree, please? But I did enjoy what I did. And I enjoyed the people I work with. I also enjoyed my time overseas a lot. So Liz, how is everything going in your world? Um, now we wait. I mean, he's gonna hit something eventually. Just law of averages. Law of average. That motherfucker just killed himself. Yeah, you know, when I went in, um, that was like. One of the things I put down on my enlistment papers is like, send me overseas. I don't care where. Send me to Guam. I don't care. Um, I, I really wanted to travel. My dad was in the army. Uh, I had been stationed in Germany and talked a lot about it. So just like the idea of, of getting stationed somewhere outside was really appealing. Never did a deployment officially. But trained it a lot. As it turns out, before you can bring everybody in, it's really handy to have um, some weather guys on the ground to get some weather intel back to, you know, everybody coming in. There's actually combat weather. That's the thing. Like, there's paratroopers. Yeah. There's Navy SEALs. And there's combat weather that are right there fucking with them. Like, you train to be like a fucking Navy SEAL or a paratrooper or some shit you know, army ranger so that you can get on the ground with them and give a weather report. Shit. I uh, did watch a video on cats today and when a cat rolls on its back and shows you its stomach, it's saying hello. It is not saying pet my stomach. No. No, it's not. It's never saying... No, never saying pet my stomach. And I start greeting people like that, just... Yep, it's over. 
Look at although, all of Although this. we could get banned from Twitch for that. <laughs> that. That is true, actually. I'm gonna have to just change topic, because... Even talking about that, I think... Might be taboo. Get you on the list. And why were we trying to do the swoop race in the first place? Because Bastila is the prize for the swoop race. And we care about him because... Her, because her? she's the Jedi... Blah, 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 blah. So th at least that's main quest, then. Yeah. Okay. We got tentacle pentagrammed, John. Fantastic. That's a check that off the bucket list. Done and done. What are you doing? Why? Right, no, no, don't do well, that. Well, it's frame stuttering hard, that's for one. That death animation. Are they grenading their own people? I don't think so. Uh. What time is it, Mike? John, it is 10.24. Okay, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, we're going to pause on this for right now. Maybe forever. I, I don't know. Forever. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs>